Hello everyone. Bus booking management module will help in managing the transport business to manage bus booking. Real-time bus booking can also be made through this module. It will also help in managing their routes. After installing this module, for this we need to do some access rights should be there for bus booking. Now let's complete that. For that we need to get into the settings. Under user and companies we need to get into the user. Now let's get into the user where you can see an access for bus booking management. We need to enable this option. Once we have enabled this option, let's get into the bus booking management module where you can see the dashboard of buses where we can see all the buses which are the ready state and also registered and also if it is new you can see those buses in the new state okay and here let's get into the one and here you can see all the informations about the bus to create a new bus you can just click on the new option which is available here okay now let's get into the one which we have already created here we can give a model name, license plate and other more information like driver, future driver and also the category, chassis number, model, okay, model and other information about the buses can also be added here. And in the other info, we can just add a brand, bus type and also amenities can also be added here, okay. And in the configurations part, you can see the type. So where you can add an bus type like I am adding a bus type as 15 seat bus where you can add a type as seating or else seat. if it is a sleeper you can just choose a sleeper right away here. And here you can see the row and also a total seat in the single row can also be added. So totally it will be an 15 seat bus. Okay. And like the same they have created some other and also you can see the sleeper right away here. Okay. And here we can add the brand. And here we can add and pick up drop off point. So here you can just add the name alone. Okay. And here under the configurations, you can see the bus points where you can see the pick up and drop point can also be added. And here you can see the amenities where you can add all the amenities and you can just describe those amenities in each and every bus that we have created. Okay. And from the configurations, we can create brand, bus type, as well as the amenities. And you can add those amenities and also all the information in the bus here. Now, after completing the configurations, just you can get into the routes where you can define a routes. Okay. And here you can just add the bus. And also you can just add the pickup and drop off point. Here you can add the journey date, start time, as well as the end time. And we need to add the start point, end point, start time, as well as the end time, and as well as the price here. So after completing the configurations as well as the routes, now let's get into the booking part. So here you can just create a booking. From here you can just add the start point as well as the end point. So for example, you can see that for that pickup, I added OT main station and also draw point will be the central station. So like the same way, let's create one. Okay. And I'm adding an OT from point start point and also the end point as a Chennai. And here I'm going to add the bus. So here I'm going to add the journey date. Okay. So now let's search. So here you can see this will be for the past date. So let's create a new routes for now. Okay. Now I'm going to create a new one and the pick up point, draw point, journey date will be today. So it's 15. And journey time, it's we need to define the journey time here. So let's add a journey time as 8 to uh, 15, 22. Okay. Here we need to add the start point and at the end point and also the start time as well as the end time. Okay. And I'm adding an amount and let's say this one. You can see that you can't add and higher than the root end time. So let's add the end time okay so now we added the end time now let's save this one okay we added the routes now let's create and booking so from here i'm going to add an start point as well as the end point and also 15 seater bus okay and the journey will be today so let's search for that bus so here we can see that there will be a total seat will be 15 okay we can see the same in the list view like start point end point bus seater and the date Total seat will be 15. The remaining seat will be 15. Okay. So now let's book. So here I'm going to add and pick up point and also the drop point. You can see the price here and also you can see all the amenities that we have defined in the bus.
now let's search for an bus seat now let's select an seats okay so here we need to give all the informations like name email age gender and also the phone number so after filling all the informations user can see a checkout page let's get into that so here you can see the order will be created and in this page you can see the confirmation option and also just from here you can just create an invoice or else you can just create an payment from here itself okay and here in this trip informations you can see the trips so this is the trip that we have created now and if needed you can just cancel it okay we have choose a seat as a um, three seats so let's cancel one from here okay now let's book an uh, same bus for again now after filling all the information so let's search for the bus yes you can see that there will be and two seats available we have cancelled one so remaining two seats will be available let's book so here uh, let's add an point drop point and also let's search for an seat now you can see that the six will be in free state now so here in this trip information you can see all the trip informations along with that you can see the customer name email pickup point drop point and whether it is booked or not and also you can see the seats right away here okay now uh, here in the tickets you can see the ticket informations like this is the ticket that we have placed now we have placed for three tickets okay so we have placed for three seats where you can see all the informations about an age gender number booking informations like the what we have did so you can see the booking informations will be automatically in the cancel state now in this way we can make use of this module to help and manage the transport business to manage bus booking if you have any queries regarding this video you can just ask in the comment box we will definitely solve your queries and if you feel this video is helpful to you you can like this video and subscribe our youtube channel for more odoo related updates thanks for watching